Hello everyone. Welcome once again to another tutorial session in bioinformatics. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can visualize your phylogenetic trees using ITOL. ITOL is a web tool that allows you to manage and annotate your phylogenetic trees. And it also gives you the ability to export those trees as images and you can save them in different formats. I will demonstrate the usage of ITOL using a phylogenetic tree that I have already generated. This tree is here. I have it on my PC and this is it. It's on my desktop. I am going to leave the download link so that you can also download this tree and then use it. The tree was generated using RaxML and there's a separate video tutorial that shows you how this very tree was generated. So if you are interested, the link is in the description box. Now let's get back to the ITOL interface and continue from there. On the ITOL page, the first thing you have to do is to upload the tree. And to do that, you come here. Let me zoom in for you. You click on this upload the tree button here. Click on it. And then on the next page, you click on the browse button here. Then you locate your tree. Mine is on a desktop, so I have it here. So I click on it and then go to open. Once you have done it successfully, you have the file name being displayed here for you. It's now time to upload. So you click on the upload button here. The tree is now uploaded and there we have it. On your right side is a control panel. You can hide it by clicking this. You can also make it visible. We have modes here, basic, advanced, and we also have some other functions here that you can use. Let's go back to basic. We have a number of functionalities here that enables you to manipulate your tree. Let's minimize it and then come to the tree here. With the tree, you can drag it along anywhere you want it on the screen. You can also increase it and even decrease it as well. So notice the manipulation that is being done. So it's very interactive. Now let's drag it here. Let's bring the control panel back and then drag it here. Notice the dust lines here. We can disable this and then make all the lines appear like this one. And to do that, we come to the basic mode on the control panel then we go to the branch lens click on ignore and then you have it being displayed this way for you in addition you can view the tree in various modes we have three modes here we have the circular rectangular and unrooted by default it's using the rectangular one but if you want to change it control panel here basic tab and then you have mode if you want circular, you click on circular. Rectangular, which is default, it's also there. And we also have unrooted, which is here. So you have all these three options available. Let's get back to rectangular. Let's get back to circular. Another thing we can do is to change the line thickness. If you wanted to make your line a bit deeper, you could also do that. So we're still on the basic tab. You scroll down, you come to line style here, and then you can increase the number, the value here. So when you increase it, the line thickness also increases. So we have that also there. We can decrease it as well. So depending on what you want, then you use the appropriate buttons. Let's go to rectangular. 
we have it here. Now let's decrease the line thickness. Okay, so we have that one also done for us. There are a lot of things you can do, but this tutorial is just to scratch the surface for you to start. If you go to the iTalk page, which I'll leave the link in the description box, you can always check it out and there are manuals there to help you explore it. Now, let's see how you can download the iTalk images. So to download this tree as an image, you come to export. And then on the next window, you can select the format you want. There are lots of formats here, SVG, EPS, PDF, PNG, and we also have different tree formats here. We are going to download three of these formats. So let's start with the SVG. I highly recommend you use SVG for your formats. Now let's start with SVG. So it's selected by default. So the next thing to do is to get the export area. You can choose screen or full image. For this tutorial, let's use a full image. So you click on it. Once you are done, you click on the exports. That's the green button here. Click on it. And then you'll be asked to save it. So I'll save it. I'll save it on my desktop. It comes with a name. So you can change the name as you want. But I'll leave it with a default name. So I'll save it. Now let's save the PDF format as well. So you click on the format here, select PDF, full image exports. Then you save the file. I'll save it on my desktop as well. Now it's done. Let's save the PNG format as well here. Full image exports. Then we save it. So now we have all of them downloaded. So let's go and check it out. So these are the trees here. Okay, these are the images. So with a PDF, you can open it with any PDF viewer. You just open it, and then you have your tree displayed for you. Let's look at the PNG as well. There's the dot PNG. There's it. By default, it's generated using a transparent background. That's why you have this checkered box in it but if you place it in a document it becomes clearer such as in a powerpoint display so this is a powerpoint display i notice that it's now clear as well okay so this is for the powerpoint now let's go to the svg format now the svg format comes in handy if you want to do some editing after you have downloaded it, or you want to add some additional information. And so there's a vector graphics. So if you have tools such as Inkscape that can open vector graphics images, then you are ready to do it. I'll demonstrate with just this example. I already have Inkscape installed. So I'll open it and show you what I'm talking about with the editing. So let me open it. So there we have it. When you have it in the SVG format and you've opened it with your Inkscape, then let's look at the editing. You can edit both texts and then lines. So for example, if I wanted to change this text, maybe remove this number here, I could just do it here. So let me show you how it's done. So there you have it. And so you can now save this as a new image. Now, if you wanted to change or highlight a color, such as this one, maybe this was of interest, 
and you wanted to change it you can also change the color here so you click on it and then you can now change the color here let's make it red so notice the color has changed for us so using inkscape we're able to do some additional modifications for your image now let's proceed so in another when you have ITOR, you can be able to manipulate your trees and use additional tools to help you get a better presentation of your trees so that'll be all for this tutorial and i'll see you in the next session but before that let me say that the interpretation of this tree has been covered in different videos of mine so you can watch those ones as well the link will be given in the description box so see you later and goodbye